The Caribbean Tourism Organization has called for regional and international backup to deal with an influx of sargassum seaweed affecting tourism on several islands, including Grenada, Barbados, and Trinidad and Tobago. Visitors turn away from the beaches, unable to deal with the mountains of seaweed and unbearable stench. In St. Lucia, the seaweed is also impacting fisheries, agriculture, and the daily lives of residents. The seaweed invasion has been an annual problem, but experts say it is fast worsening. It's clear that oxygen has been, is being deprived and it's going to impact the mangrove community as well. And the mangroves are very important nurseries, um, particularly for lobster. The east coast of St. Lucia is under siege from the invasive seaweed. The island's agriculture and fisheries minister says the island's fishers and a number of coastal developments are being threatened. Seaweed is also clogging up the engines of fishing vessels. He says his ministry is doing what it can to contain the problem. This infestation of, of, of seaweed is, is the worst that we have seen in the Savans Bay area. Um, this probably extends over 600 meters from the shore. And we can actually witness a number of animals, we see crabs, um, we see fish, a lot of animals are attempting to, to you know, break the surface to, I guess, get whatever oxygen they can get, and a number of them are dying um, below this, this blanket of seaweed. Environmental health officials have warned that the impacts of the seaweed situation are both instant, such as the vermin and flies, and long-term, and there can be health issues if it is not contained soon. The Caribbean Hotel and Tourism Association, CHDA, has published a guide to help countries deal with the problem. It includes measures for clearing beaches and suggestions for the use of the seaweed in agriculture. Alison Kentish, Delisur, St. Lucia.